Hello, my lovely Sagittarians. Welcome to our weekend reading. Yes, loves. A lot of you have been asking about the weekend reading and since I've done my meditation over this morning, I keep hearing that somebody here is about to contact you. Whoever is this person or this soul that want to contact you. Not who is thinking of you or not who is approaching or anything, but who is about to contact you. Somebody could be love-wise, could be work-wise, could be friendship-wise, could be someone you don't even think they would like to contact you or they are bound to contact you. Keep an open mind, as always, and let's see. And speaking about the weekend, yes, we did not do a weekend reading for some time. And I feel this is the time when we are going to open the cards for it. And of course, if any other message comes through, we'll be sharing with you. The deck I'm using for this reading is the Radiant Spirit Wise Tarot. Let's see here. Sagittarians. Someone is about to contact you, who they are. Could be someone at the distance. This is more likely someone physical distance, not it's someone who, who you are connected, but physically they are not where you are. Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. So I'm hearing that you definitely did not been in contact with this person for probably a long time. Pentacles for me always are time related energies and also speaks about our time or long time. I'm her hearing an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Sometimes this uh, card is the hermit that moves forward, but also could be a water sign, earth or water energy. For some of you, you distant from them or they distant themselves from you. Okay, yes. For very few of you, it's a fire sign. But the fire energy, it's more likely you. You could decide to move on to something new. I have the Seven of Swords. I feel here there is some dishonesty in between. Or just for some of you, you are not into this person as they've been into you or for... Some of you have been a third party. Third party could be either this person was married, committed, or the third party could be their work. Because sometimes we are, you know, some people love long distant relationships. But I don't feel here did work for you and this person. Let's see. Seven of Cups, the Empress. For many, many of you, yes, definitely there is a third party here. For others of you, this person was very confused between you and someone. No matter it's earth, water, fire, I have very little air, which definitely speaks that communication was very off or not there, or the way you communicate was not necessarily understood. I am picking up a very strong karmic energy here. We've seen the Seven of Swords here at the bottom, but now I have Seven of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands is missing, and Seven of Wands, speaking of, in terms of fire, earth, air, and water, 
fire energy is yours. You could want it to be in a certain way. They could be in another way. Or you kind of stand your ground, loves. If this person didn't know what they want, you do. You did. Okay? You wanted love or you wanted something special or you want something, you know, not third party. And that's kind of a big thing here. So this kind of person is about to contact you, definitely. Ten of Swords. This person could want the cake and eat it too, and it, they ended up with the Ten of Swords. Okay. We know who is the person who wants to contact you. What they do want, or what's the reason they want to contact you. Because they are used to being a queen. Very feminine energy here. And now they are in a page energy. Pages usually are beginners, a lesson learning energies. But let's hear what what they want to tell you. Five of Swords, Seven of Wands. Well, let me. Yeah, Hermit, Virgo energy here. It's kind of, they, they might even tell you, now I understand why you stand up for yourself. Here is the seven. Now I understand what you mean through those things. However, the energy, what I'm picking up, they will tell you one thing, but they will think a whole other thing. What I mean through that, they might tell you things you want to hear, but their meaning has um, a second one. You know how people are congratulating you when you achieve something, but they are jealous? That's kind of situation, because Five of Swords, and we've seen Seven of Swords, they come because it's something here good for them or they think is going to benefit them. Not necessarily that they look throughout the things deep down. So this connection doesn't necessarily to be just love. For some of you, it's a specific person that if they could not benefit you back then, they kind of vanished. Now they seem that you're doing great or you're doing awesome. They may come back. And they may even tell some certain things. It's like that uh, little wolf in a sheepskin energy. Judgment. Because this person realized here that whatever here they chose or whatever here they done was not actually good. They do know who they lost or they do know big time even what they've done. For some of you, this person could keep an eye on you for some time. Page of Swords is a viewer. You might see those views on your media, but they are not related to your friendships and some things like unknown or people who see additionally or how they call. They've been watching all this time what you do, how you do, how you grow, and so on. That's most likely they come around. Now I want to ask how you are going to feel about it. If they are, you know, here. Or here or see even whatever they put in there. How are you going to feel or how you are going to react or how you you know, be there for three of pentacles. For some of you, you might feel like this person make up their mind or they want to put in effort. 
for some of you you definitely are gonna see what you really want to see or what you always kind of expected and that's how they are that's why I'm saying here don't be yeah look at here the moon and the star it's kind of will look too good to be true kind of this is always what you want from this person or you think that this person is changed but again this person has their ways or you feel like you are the one who who step up but I feel here this person carry a lot of things you don't know okay and certain things may not match their words with their actions so pay attention let me see should you trust this person should you trust this person we have the sun for some of you you believe in the um, that the people are changing you believe in second chances here five of wands nine of wands but those people very close to you might even tell you second chances are not for this person in particular or for some of you may feel like the a lot of people around you don't want to see you happy this is not about it some people definitely see things from a different perspective okay six of swords here darlings for others of you for others of you loves you you might wish this person well or you might tell them you're moving on or you moved on and they will try to bump you with certain things and feel you like you are the one who is the guilty one and this person might leave as they come very quick so I will say to be careful who you give second chances or again I'm feeling here this person they feel like it's unfinished business or <clears throat> something here they they miss out or Or it's something here about this person that they could have all the people doing whatever they wanted and you are the one who didn't and they want to prove themselves that sooner or later you will this is a ego based energy here I don't feel you think so for some of you you still caring about this person but there is a big warning the seven of swords didn't come a couple times just like that and yes we do have all the sevens including the major arcana of chariot okay so for some of you there they could trigger your emotions or something here related to emotions Cancerian energy, the chariot energy might, might trigger the, um, the energy of the home because Cancerian is the fourth house which involves your ho house, household, your, um, your way of living or, or your way you want to live. And they might even promise you everything. I'm going to build you this. I'm going to give you this. I'm, you know, those promises. But... I I don't see this person. I don't see any pentacles here. And when I don't see pentacles, I don't see someone here is going to stick with whatever it is for a long time. 
just to be, you know, in a fair way. What advice we have from Spirit to you? And yes, yeah, some people do change because they do want to. And some people look like they change. So don't, don't look by the look. Advice from spirits to you, loves. And yeah, speaking about the weekend reading, this is coming over the weekend or over the few days after. Let's see what advice we have from spirits. Don't be quite surprised. That's what we have the tower here for. For some of you, you might be surprised by the message or by the um, conversations this person uh, could hold or by the way they can talk to you because I feel here for some of you you might expect a call or a message but you might see them even at your door or something here very unusual it's very direct and the tower moment it's right now and yes could be either the night time, either the early morning. Queen of Cups. This person might come also with a person. Also, for some of you, this this person contacts you because somebody asked them to. Or somebody here is very. Very much insisting to. For others of you, yes, uh, Queen of Cups is like they they feel like you you will not say a no. Again, they could trigger very strong your emotions or something here they are gonna say which will be quite emotionally. I feel here this person could analyze you for quite a quite a while. But again, look at this page of swords and look at this page of pentacles. They go different directions, which that is definitely telling me that whatever they are saying and whatever they are doing might be differently. But the Queen of Cups, again, they definitely are looking for some kind of reaction. I have underneath the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles also speaks about to not rush. Knight of Pentacles speaks about the slowest night. For some of you might say, well, better late than, than never. That's not the case. Somebody here took the time, so are you. The Spirit says, before you answer or rushing to answer or you feel surprised, ask yourself, why now? Okay, or should you answer? For some of you, seeing this call message or, or person, ask yourself, would you want to talk with them or not? Okay. And yes, life is full of surprises, loves. But that being said, that's what I have for you for this weekend. And someone is about to contact you. I hope you find the um, clear answers and know whatever it is. Another thing here, the only queen missing here is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is not a person who is a lovey-dovey energy. Queen of Swords speaks out. And definitely here, someone here wants to be heard out. I also hear, for some of you, this person might feel like it's fair or something was not fair or... For very, very few percentage, this person could have gone through some legal situations. And be aware to not be involved in something that is definitely not for you. Take care, loves. Bye for now.